Detlef Dreistein from Germany. The first time when I came to Kenya as a holiday maker, it was uh, 36 years ago, 1995. And after six year, after nine years, I had a tour guide, a lady from Italy, and she was the one who collected the children, the street children from the street from Malindi. And she gave her a place in her own house. Later, I was uh, talking with her and I said, please, uh, give me, I want to see where the children are and what you are doing. Because I was also a helper uh, in World Vision and so I said, okay, let me help you too. In the year of 1994, uh, we got also from a big sponsor, this was the owner from the Eden Rock Hotel from Malindi, she gave us the plot and there we started 1994 and to build. Up to now you can see it is 27 years ago, we have the orphanage, actually we have 50 children in the orphanage, we have 17 children in the high school, we have one uh, student in the college and we have five boys and girls in the polytechnic. So I got from Germany for every child I have a sponsor from Germany and so we collect also some money from America, some money from Italian's friend. And here the orphanage is working with 16 staffs in the agriculture, in the garden and also here in our orphanage. And we are well done and we are uh, looking for more help. We are looking for sponsors also because now Corona make a big problem also for us. Some of the sponsors, they have not enough money, they have to look for themselves and so we lost also some good sponsors. So we hope to get a little bit more money and that the, everything is continue. So, and I live here now since two years in the Hotel Turtle Bay Beach Club and now every week I come to the orphanage, I look for all. We have here a committee with five people. These are businessmen and ladies from Malindi. And they are also a big help for us. And they continue what we have to do, what we have to repair, where we can the money use and what we want to build in the future. Maybe next time what we want to do is we want to build a secondary school. And from the men, the German who give us the money for the agriculture, he is planning also to make a poultry, a chicken farm. So we are always looking forward, but mostly it depends on money, what no. we uh, We are only concentrating about the orphanage, CRS, and about the school. I'm not a friend to say, I look for another school, for another orphanage. You have to concentrate yourself for one place and do your hard work in one place very good. This is what we want. Like, uh, we want it now to, to change, it's a cycle. So we have changed from tomato, now we are doing kales. So after kales, we are, we are going to return again tomato. Agriculture, we have a school there with Eric, is the teacher, and we give also the education for free for the agriculture students. They stay here for two years. After two years, they get a certification, and then they can go and look yeah. for another job. Oh, the trousers? The trousers. It's a green. Green. Okay. okay. So this is the uniform even for the CRS. Yes. Okay. Ah, CRS is cheaper. Yeah, tailoring. We have one lady. Her name is Evelyn. 
she is the boss from the tailoring. Also, when we have enough people who are interested to learn about uh, to be a tailor, so she is able to make a school, a tailoring school here also for the, the guests or for the students who want to come. Now we are in our apartments. We have two apartments for volunteers, students who are coming from Germany and they stay here for free. We have two apartments for together five uh, people can live here. We have a three room, we have uh, a toilet, we have a sleeping room and here the kitchen. And this is for free, to stay here for free, but they have to help us with the children. Some of our students from Germany, they was the helper for the library. So one lady was here for three months and she did a very good work. And they was uh, reading the books and they was telling the children how interested it is to read a book yeah and so we was very happy and here the children uh, the volunteers can stay for free also they, they can stay here only if uh, they, they, they help you with the kids and eh? like maybe teaching them yeah they can teach them they was teaching them about plastic about uh, rubbish so to separate it and to be careful about plastic items and so on. Okay. And they was reading also the books. Yeah. So what you're saying is from time to time you receive uh, volunteers from abroad, eh? Yeah, but since Corona stopped us, yeah, it's not easy for now to get uh, volunteers because the flight is very complicated and it is not easy to get students. Okay. So currently who is using this uh, apartment since we have no uh, volunteers? No. no.